Hi, and welcome to a segment of Chat with Nat, Diamonds Style. This is the first time this has been done, and I'm here with, well, our first debutante for this series, Miss Gabby Simpson. Woohoo! So, Gabs, um, it is the day after our Auckland test, um, but obviously we're going to rewind a little bit when you got the phone call from Lisa to say you were coming into the team for this Constellation Cup series what was your reaction yeah I just cried uh, <laughs> I've got to be honest I've had so many phone calls from Lisa that just said you mate you're not in this time so to have one that said yes I just actually cried and then went out to my sister and just let her know it's unreal very quiet too very quiet you were very quiet as well because we ha you have been very close and you've been part of well there was the com games training squad and then the world cup training squad which you did um, attend so you would have been chomping at the bit but and then now we're in we're in Christchurch Tuesday night what was it like getting or lining up on the line listening to that national anthem do you remember it because I <laughs> it's um pretty incredible experience but yeah it was sick to be honest <laughs> Sick, that's not a word we're going to use, children. It was rather splendid. Uh, <laughs> no, it was great. Um, I, I had Claire on one side and Tweedy on the other side and just singing the anthem was um, a beautiful moment and, yep, loved absolutely everything. Did you belt it out? Uh, yes, the people beside me um, would know that I was belting it out. You're never sure whether to go the high level or the low level. So I kind of did a jump between two, like, oh, do you know? Yeah. That, that sounds great. Um, I probably prefer to mouth the words because I know I probably sound like a cat getting swung by the tail. But um, And then, obviously... During, I think it was the second quarter, um, Nay called time. Lisa, look to you. Did you have time to think about anything? What was going through that pretty little head of yours? <laughs> no, nah, I think I was just like a puppy. She said, Gab's go warm up. I said, okay. <laughs> and I ran off and I warmed up and then I ran onto the court and I looked down and I was like, oh my goodness. I don't have bibs on and then I had to go find bibs and then the next part was working out which direction we were going that was stressful and then yeah. all of a sudden the ball was in my hand and I thought my god that's it job done <laughs> job done <laughs> one touch one touch of the ball tick yeah. we're good to go and then because that is a thing we do now wear bibs on the sideline and Lisa has after that Christchurch test match made sure that the players are bibbed up just in case um, and then you had your family there, so I know you're very, very close with your family. They've come over. I don't know what your parents do because every time I'm playing either against you or somewhere, they are always in the crowd. But what was it like to have them there watching you make your debut? Yeah, it was really special. They they come to pretty much every game that I play, <laughs> which is amazing to have someone just to chat to afterwards. And they've been through a lot with me, you know, every up and down and sideways movement. They've been there, <laughs> so it's been so fantastic. And also that they know a lot of other people in the team, so they just love the experience. And they're probably just as excited as I was. Now, good to hear. And now on tour, we, we did room yes. together, and we were obviously teammates back in Queensland for a few years there um, but now apparently I don't remember this but the first time we were actually I guess alongside each other on the court your memories I thought I was lovely but apparently um, Polar not quite the way you remember it um, what what <laughs> What happened there? Yeah, uh, no, Nat, you weren't lovely. Um, here I was, this little 15-year-old, absolutely nervous as hell, playing against the Diamonds. And we I was just a bit eager, so we were dodging and defending. And I look up, and it actually wasn't your centre pass. So um, I said to you, oh, oh, sorry, Nat, I'm just a bit excited. And you looked at me like this. <laughs> I don't give that look. That's my um, happy face. <laughs> <laughs> She's got a resting bitch face. <laughs> <laughs> You'll win some, you lose some. <laughs> oh, God. No, but now, and we are. We, I, I think we're friends. Yeah, 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 pretty good friends. Yeah, we are. We get along well. But, you know, 
there are probably a few things, and this is um, a good friend of yours, Courtney yeah. Bruce, oh. gave me a little bit of dirt. Um, well, the room we've addressed that. Um, probably not the tidiest rooms going around on tour um, but you are late quite often um, you and are also one of the last ones to leave the court so you're a bit of a, a bit of an you know dawdler what? you're a bit of a dawdler for someone who's got a lot of speed you I'd like to think I leave the speed for the court <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm very chilled in my everyday life. I don't like to be rushed. Um, I have, I've got to admit, I have turned around from the lateness. I'd like to think I, I'm at least there three minutes before, two minutes, 30 seconds before I'm supposed to be there. <laughs> Um, which has changed from in the past. At Firebirds, we get locked out if we're late, so that's yes. really um, put me in my place. Um, but yeah, I, yeah, I'm pretty pretty cruisy when I'm not running. Have you have you been locked out? Because I remember when that came into play at f in Queensland. So has that happened? I'm proud to say I have never ever ever been locked out. <laughs> mainly because I'm too nervous to be late. I'm just it's too scary. <laughs> now, if we go to the game you get in Auckland. That defensive lineup, or almost basically till the goal attacker got to the shooting end, was the Firebirds lineup. So, how did that feel? Um, you know, playing there, did it feel comfortable? Was it a bit daunting? How, what was it like out there? Yeah, I'd say comfortable is definitely the best <laughs> word to look around. And just like, oh yeah, right, we're just playing ANZ, right? Yeah. <laughs> so that was it. Was really good. You know, we've obviously spent a bit of time playing together, so we kind of know each other's moves inside and out. But to have Gretel Tivert on the court, particularly in wing attack, <laughs> I think I caught the ball, and the first thing I did was throw a high ball to her, and it, she just plucked it out of the air like she does. She's just fantastic. Yeah, she is a good egg. And now you've obviously you've come in for. The these two test matches you've made your debut there's been so much hype and then you wake up and you're now no longer a diamond because you're going back home you're not part of these next two series so how does that feel oh yeah look <laughs> uh, the mo this moment a sad moment but it was pretty unreal to have those um two the two games that are sick <laughs> how sick again <laughs> We need to work on a bit of a vocabulary lesson next time you're on tour. I'll, I'll put a little dictionary together for you, but continue. I've got a few others. It was off chops. It was... <laughs> oh, these words, I don't know. This is all after my time, but <laughs> carry on. Sorry, Mrs. 75-year-old netball player. I'm only merely a two. <laughs> I don't even know what we're talking about, but yeah, yeah. It's How does it feel no longer being a diamond? <laughs> Um, I'm going to go home and I'm going to do my uni work that I haven't done. Um, so it's just as enthralling. Yes. Mm. All right. Well, thank you so much for having a chat. Congratulations on an incredible debut. You have absolutely earned your spot out there. It was so great. I was so incredibly proud and happy for you. Um, I know all the work that you've done. An amazing athlete. And I know we're going to see so much more of you in the green and gold. So thank you and look forward to another episode of Chat with Nat.